Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to model game assets with Blender. This is part two and today we are going to model a book. This is the finished model and as always I designed this so you can follow along very easily. And a background reference image to your scene. By pressing shift A go to image then background and open the image. And now we can start modeling by adding a cube to our scene. Just scale it in the x-axis and in the y-axis by pressing S for scale then x or y. And now scale it in the z-axis by pressing S for scale and then z to give it the right dimensions. Now with the basic shape done, we can head into edit mode by pressing the tab key and we can insert two loop cuts by pressing command and R and then scroll the scroll wheel for the number of cuts. Set your transformation pivot point to median point and scale these two cuts in the z-axis. Now we can add another loop cut here by pressing Command and R. And by moving the mouse, we can place this loop cut here on the end of the book. Now Shift select these three faces. Press E to extrude and then place them somewhat inwards by either scaling them or moving them. So scaling with S or moving with the G key. Here I scaled in the Y axis with median point as my transformation pivot point. All right, now let's give our book around back. So insert some loop cuts by pressing the command and R, then use your scroll wheel to set the amounts of cuts and shift select all these face loops here by pressing shift, alt and left click. Now with the move tool by pressing G we can set these face loops deselect the outer face loops and repeat the moving step. All right. Shade your object smooth by right clicking on the object and go to shading then shade smooth. On the right side under object data properties under normals check auto smooth. So we get a smooth surface where we want it and keep some of the hard edges. Now to create the indentation on the box back add two new loop cuts by pressing command and R and place them by moving the mouse. Now select these edges When you've selected all the edges, you can scale them down. And to round this, press Command and B for beveling these edges. 
And by moving the mouse, you can set the width of your bevel. And by scrolling the scroll wheel, you can set the segments. We don't need these faces here. So select all of them and then press X to delete these faces. Repeat this on the other side too. And now you can select this edge loop here by pressing Alt and left click. And by clicking on the right, you can select bridge edge loops. Overall, this book looks fine, but some of the edges are too hard for my taste. So under modifiers, you can add a bevel and set the segments to three or four. And under limit method, choose angle. So we can keep some of the important hard edges. I decided to separate our object into two by selecting all these faces here, which will represent the pages of the book. And then by right-clicking and choosing separate, separate selection, I can do this. Apply the scale for both objects by pressing Ctrl and A. And now you can select this edge up here and by pressing F you can set a face in. Okay, this looks fine. Now select the pages part get into edit mode and select all these edges here. Press right click and choose mark seam. By doing that we can unwrap the object with the use of the U key. And this will make shading even easier. First of all, get into UV editing and open a new image and choose these pages here. Now for it to work, we have to get into the shading tab and we have to create a new material by pressing plus new. We can call it pages. Now by pressing shift A, go under textures and image texture, you can add this node and connect it to the base color. Then press open and choose the same image. Now head back to UV editing and with the faces selected we can now place our selection on this image texture. You can move it with G, scale it with S. And as you can see, this side of the object looks fine, but we have to repeat this for the other two sides. 
first select the faces and then in UV editing set them. Now that we have to have laid out our UVs we can add another image texture node and open the roughness map. We can connect this to the roughness input of our basic shader and to have a little bit more control we can add a color ramp in between. Remember black is 100% reflective and white is 0% reflective. Now you can add two more image texture nodes and open the normal map and the height map. And for it to work, we have to add a bump node and a normal map node. Connect the bump to the normal and the normal map to the normal of the bevel then your height map to height and your normal map to color. Don't forget to set your color space to non-color for these to work. And now if we zoom in See, it's a bit too hard, but we can regulate it on the node itself. So all we did for the pages, we have to repeat for the cover as well. Just get into edit mode, unwrap your object, open the image in UV editing, Give it a new material in shading, add an image texture to your base color, open this image and then in UV editing you can select individual faces and lay them out just like this. This looks like some work, but actually this is my favorite part of modeling. Now that we have done this, we can add an image texture here as well for the roughness. We can open the roughness map for this image and connect it to the roughness input of your shader. I added a color ramp in between as well to control the amount of reflection. Add two additional nodes for the normal map and the height map. Add a bump node and a normal map node. Set your color space to non-color, connect your normal map to the normal of your bump and the bump to the normal of your shader. And just like this you can create really realistic looking material. It's a bit too reflective, but good thing that we added a color ramp. And we can adjust the black color to more of a gray one, so it won't shine as much. I want the pages to be a bit brighter. 
So we've just added a bright contrast node in between my image. Now to finish our model, we have to add one more thing. So get into object mode, add a cube by pressing Shift A, Mesh, then go to cube, then scale it by the use of the S key and place it like this. Now press the tab key to get into the edit mode. And insert some loop cuts by pressing Command and R and scrolling the scroll wheel of your mouse. Now by pressing Alt and left click, you can select this whole face loop here. And with a few use of the proportional editing tool, and the G key to move, you can create this rounded shape right here. If you want it to be a bit rounder, you can always add some geometry like loop cuts and work on the form a bit more. Right. When you're happy with the shape, you can head into shading and give it a new material by pressing plus new. I dial down the specular to zero and the roughness up. And this is it. I would love to see your take on this and if you tried this tutorial and made your own book you can send it to me via Twitter or Instagram and if you want to I can showcase some of your work in future videos. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification button to keep yourself updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching and have fun creating!